here with the senior infielder, outfielder, Swiss Army Knife, Joe Robbins. Joe, do you predict yourself playing a lot of different positions this year? Uh, that's to be decided by the coaches. I don't really have a, a say in that. It, it all depends on, I guess, what, what they look at a lot is who's hitting in the lineup. So I feel if I'm hitting the lineup and if other guys are getting the job done, then I could be stationary. I could be at one position. But if not, then I could be all over the place. Have you been preparing at a couple different positions this offseason? Uh, yeah, a couple of the same, same two positions I was mainly at last year, which would be center field and third base. But besides that, we've got, we've got a few new outfielders that came in that have been really stepping up, really hitting the ball well. So I see them playing center field over me, and hopefully I get to stay on third base. All right, who's a guy on the team that you think made a really big jump from where they were at last year to where they're at right now? Uh, I would have to say uh, Jam Williams. Uh, he, he did a really good job of like coming back this season and really working on his, his craft, his, his swing. Last year he, he really didn't get a whole lot of ABs, and I feel like this year he's, he's going to get his opportunities to play for sure. How would you describe this year's pitching staff? Because the depth just looks crazy. Uh, it's definitely fun to face, especially during inner squads. I can tell you that. Uh, I know, looking at it from a pitching standpoint, it's, it's a lot of relief on a lot of our arms. Uh, we have a lot of people that can go in and they can they can fill roles that we weren't able to fill last year. So, I think that's great for our pitching staff and for our hitters. We get to see good arms every day. And who's really impressed you as a newcomer? I mean, you guys got a couple different guys that are going to contribute a lot. I mean, Todd Lott, as a freshman, is built like a lumberjack. You got Hanson Monaco who came in. Who's really impressed you? Uh, Hitting-wise, I think uh, all Hanson down there is not doing too bad. But uh, Todd's also done really well. Uh, and, and looking at it from a pitching standpoint, I think Hayden Herb has really worked hard and, on his craft and coming in and getting off of Tommy John and – and rehab, and I think he, his velocity's back up, and he's starting to find some confidence in his pitching. It's been a long road for you as a Cajun. It's your final season here. Uh, you looking at yourself as one of the leaders on this team? Uh, I look at myself as one of the leaders. I hope all, everybody else on the team kind of looks at me the same way. And I, I just kind of go about my business every day as hard as I can, like during practice, during while we're lifting weights. I kind of try to set an example for the younger guys. What have you worked on uh, all off season to try to get better at? What was something you focused on? Uh, my attitude was one of the big things that I worked on more or less. Uh, sometimes I get a negative attitude, maybe a bad at bat, or maybe I make an error in the field. So it was more or less not bringing down the team's morale with my own bad attitude. Coach Rope said you guys have been using the construction going on around here as kind of a distraction to help you prepare for the season. He said when you guys had to leave the field, you used it as a rain delay. How have you kind of learned to tune all this chaos out? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tune out the, the construction going on, especially when they're beating on steel 24-7. But I think it's just looking back on what the teams in the past have been able to do for this program. I, I mean, I, I think that's a big visual that, that we get to look at every day, that hard work, the hard work put in by the teams before us, this is what they were able to accomplish, and we want to do the same thing. And you guys have gotten to see this all throughout. It's really moving fast now with the construction. What do you think the fans should expect whenever they finally get to come into Russo Park? Uh, the fans, I think the, I think our fans know what to expect, but I don't think the other fans know what to expect. Everybody else, they're going to come in here and it's going to be chaos. Are they're not you going to know what to do? Right, you guys are starting off the season on the road. Uh, how do you mentally prepare yourself for all those games away to start the season? Uh, I'd say the same way that we mentally prepare ourselves for home games. Uh, away games are no different besides the fact that we're playing on somebody else's home field. But mentally we prepare ourselves just like we would here. All right, time for a little bit of fun just to wrap up. Uh, who would you say the goofiest dude on the entire team is? I'd say Alex Panera without a doubt. Uh, you got a favorite movie, one that if it's a rainy day or something you always pull out of the DVD rack? Uh, hmm, I like Step Brothers. It's a classic, so. Total classic. Who's your favorite character from Sandlot? Sandlot. Oh God. Uh, I can't. I can't pick one. I. I. I, I won't pick one. Uh, all good. <laughs> all right. And then last one for you. Do you have a favorite robism? You've been around that dude for forever. We all know he has some lines he uses all the time. What's What's one that you kind of stuck with you? I, I. I could actually go to several robisms, but over the years. The funniest one that gets me every time would be the lady in the third row always thinks that play looks easy. But in reality, that play's hard. 
can't make it look hard. You got to make the play look easy like she thinks it is. I appreciate it, Joe. Have a good season. You too.